Hi, I'm your host Steven and I welcome you back to the Around Table and today I'll be talking about uh, an album that I heard about something coming out and didn't have time to speak about it until now and this one is being Creatures of the Night from KISS. Um, Gene Simmons has recently announced a box set or deluxe edition that's going to have demos and behind the scenes stuff. Um, Creatures of the Night came out in 1982, uh, yeah 1982. Um, it didn't go gold, I believe, until 1994. It's one of those transitional albums for the band. Uh, Ace and Peter have been gone by then, although Ace is featured on the cover originally. Yeah, he's on here. Yeah, You can see him. He's on here. He didn't play a lick on the album, apparently. Uh, there was, I think, Bob Kulik and Steve Ferris and a slew of other guitarists that had taken his place and filled that, that void. Um, the album itself is probably it's the band's one of the hardest rocking albums of their career. I think the drums on there alone rock harder than anything I've ever heard. And uh, your ears will bleed if you hear this album from the drumming alone. Um, for its commercial failure, a lot of people blame the misfires of uh, the band's albums, Dynasty and, and Unmasked and The Elder. Um, you know, people blame that and they say the album was doomed to fail because of those prior releases. But uh, Dynasty and Unmasked went gold, regardless if they're disco. There was a there was a, kind of a demand for it. People were willing to listen. I think people just got a little fed up at that point. I think Kiss was everywhere. There was lunchboxes, posters, toys, you name it, and then albums and tours. I think people at one point just got fed up. And didn't want to hear them for a little bit. And I think no matter what album they did, they could have come out with a masterpiece. They could have come out with a you know their their version of uh, you know Houses of the Holy. I think it would have failed. Uh, I'm convinced. I just think people were fed up. I mean, I know I I picked up the album originally, played it once, and I guess I wasn't sure what to expect after hearing the disco stuff uh, that. I played it once, I remember playing it, and just, I put it away. And never went back to it, till after, I think, Animalized with Heavens on Fire, and I just said, you know, let's let's go backtrack here, you know. Uh, you know, obviously, Lick It Up and, and, and Animalize returned the band to the charts and popularity, and, uh, you know, resurrected their career. But I remember just putting this album away, and thinking, ah. Eh, you know, I just think people didn't know how to process. This is such out of left field after those three albums and then their glam period. This is, Creatures of the Night is one of those, like I guess, they say it, bastard childs of the band, right? Um, it's out of left field. I, I don't think, I just didn't know how to process it at the time. And I think a lot of fans as well weren't sure where the band was going to go. Because you always hear, like, we're going back to our roots, right? And You've heard that a million times. So when they say we're going back to our rock roots, you kind of thought, I think some people thought like me, 70s, they're going to go back and do like a destroyer thing. You know, so, and, and it didn't sound like at that point what was coming out of the 80s, that glam rock kind of thing. This was very hard rock. This is something out of like Metallica's The Black Album kind of style, right? So I think people didn't know how to process. I think I just I just went under the radar because we didn't know where to put it. And, but over time, I think like Guitar World has placed it as one of their top five uh, rock albums of 1982, and rightfully so. Now going back to this thing, I I, I go back to it now more and more as time goes on. Uh, title track, which is the night, fantastic. Saint and Sinner, I think, is an underrated Gene Simmons song. I think it's really his best, one of his best vocal performances ever. Um, Danger from Paul Stanley, just a great rocker. I Love It Loud. I think maybe that shouldn't have been the first single. I think Creatures of the Night should have been the first single. A little bit more catchier, you know. I Still Love You, six-minute epic ballad. Fantastic. And, of course, War Machine. I think Killer's a good song, but I don't think it should have been a single. I think this. I think they picked the wrong singles, too. I think Creatures of the Night should have been first. Then perhaps War Machine, I Still Love You, you know. I think that should have been the releases, in my opinion. All in all, I'm looking forward to this thing. I think this is, if you're a KISS fan and never picked this up, Creatures of the Night is definitely worth your time. 
it, it's an album that's going to grow on you in time. But, but it's well written, well produced. And like I said the drumming is out of this world. Eric Carr, you know, uh, God rest his soul, really blew my mind. I go back to this now and I just, you know, like I said, your ears will bleed on this one. So I'm looking forward to the deluxe edition. I'd like to know what you guys think. Is it a good album? What do you think of the deluxe edition that's coming out? Are you looking forward to it? What else would you like to see? I'd like to see Lick It Up get a deluxe edition and Revenge. I'd like to see these albums, like the other songs, you know, uh, the demos and stuff. I'd like to see those. Those are some of their underrated albums, I think, and I'd like to see those come out too. Let me know what you'd like to hear from these guys. Be really excited. I don't want to hear Destroyer, another anniversary. I don't want to see Destroyer again. I, as much as I love that album, they've done it already enough. Um, Let's do other albums. I think Creatures of Night is a great place to start. Lick it up. Revenge. What else can they do? You know, uh, refix, uh, fix up Hot in the Shade maybe because a lot of them were kind of demo tapes, right? But other than that, okay, back to, I'll go back to this. Creatures of Night, great album from the band. Arguably their top five albums now, looking back on it. It's in their top five for sure. Let me know what you think. What are your favorite songs? What do you look? Are you looking forward to this? Let me know. We'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button. Subscribe. See you soon. Live the rock and roll dream.